Welcome back, guys, to Trails from Zero, where last episode, the special support section found out what Anri and Ryu were up to next, having found a frail kitten that they asked us to find the owner of, as we hit the streets to reveal the stray had been taken in by Sunita, as her father let Marie move in. We then continued our afternoon chapter one crossbell patrol, reading the saint and the wolf in the library along the way, as we now finish up and move onwards. Good afternoon, everyone. Did anything interesting happen while you were investigating Armorica? No, nothing yet. We haven't learned anything more than what the CGF already noted down in their report. Ah, oh, what a shame. Oh yeah, I forgot that the CGF conducted their own investigation. What if Noe was out on the field? Fran loves to bo boast about her older sister in the CGF. In fact, after hearing about her day in and day out, I feel like I know her just as well. Come on, Rebecca, don't tease me like that. I only have so much to say because my sister hardly ever contacts me herself. That's all it is. It's not like I'm feeling lonely or anything like that. No siree. I'll say I ever feel good going to headquarters, but being around these lovely ladies always brightens my day. I'm beginning to understand why these two were appointed as receptionists. Um, let's just erase that last conversation from our memories. I'm a member of the force too, guys. It's not professional of me to spend so long talking about personal matters while I'm on the clock. Uh, oh, Noe. What are you up to these days? Oh, he's not there anymore. He's moved on. Mr. Gets a library book about women, the w important women in history, and is like, where are the pictures? Where are the sexy ladies? Well, the rookies patrol routes are finally settled now, at least. What about you, though, Officer Kate? A veteran like you should go to a district with weaker support. Officer, please, spare me the veteran title. Makes me sound so old. Sorry about that, ma'am. Well, Officer Kate, how do you feel about these assignments? Let me take a look. There'll be more orbital vehicles on the road, so I think I'll go to Central Square. I am a veteran, after all. Right, we'll leave that area to you, then. And is the busiest place. I mean, the IBC would be the most important place, though. It's kind of my understanding that last month's in incident involving involved a Diet member. I guess it's no surprise that the top brass is acting all wishy-washy about the whole thing. All they need to know it involves a politician, and that's it. Another CPD special. Why not just arrest the politician? Well, it's not that simple. They haven't stopped us outright, but they've been pressuring us to drop it in more roundabout ways. So we're going to tread lightly with this investigation. Another CPD special indeed. Oh, what do we have here? This dude's wife is smoking hot. <laughs> I suddenly feel more motivated to do some investigating. He sounds just like you, Randy. Uh, excuse me? Isn't everyone like that? Bit of eye candy is really all you need to perk back up when you're in a slump. Ah, oh, you guys here to look through these files for your investigations too? I've got to say, there are some real hidden gems if you look hard enough. A certain gorgeous married woman springs to mind. I don't think people generally like being looked at anymore. It is different strokes for different folks in that sense, but just don't look, I think is the best thing to do as a married man too. But that said, whenever I'm watching wrestling, which me and my wife partake in, she makes sure to point out all the hot butts. <laughs> I'm like, well, I can't help but look if you keep pointing them out. Welcome to Crossbell City Hall. If you're here to inquire about the hours of operation for our orbital bus service, then you've come to the right place. The service itself is under the jurisdiction of the Transportation Division, though. Indeed. Can you please make it so the buses go with me and not miss me? Pretty please. I appreciate that Coswell's government has been putting more effort into expanding the orbital bus service in recent years. I wish the politicians had better intentions behind their actions, though. They're only making these efforts in order to garner more popularity. Can't complain, though. It's not like the bus line isn't a valuable part of our lives. I wish the politicians had better intentions, yeah. He's just repeating himself. No! Not even with different wording. All right, that's the admin district swept. So, in Crossbell, we've got one quest. No recipes, no books. That's what we've come up with. Now that Grace is out of town, our editing session went a lot quicker than it usually does. Pretty normal for it to go full throttle during our sessions, so they usually end up devolving into heated arguments. Well, she can write one hell of an interesting article, so I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing. I mean, Crossbell City. We'll narrow it down to that. 
We're looking for Grace. She's not here right now. She left the office earlier today with a mischievous grin on her face. I'm guessing she's on the hunt for a later scoop. Oh, what's up? Are you here to see Grace? She's off on a business trip, unfortunately. Given the time of day, she's probably out snapping photos of Heimdall, I'd guess. Hmm, but new company sponsored by the IBC. I've definitely got a good feeling about this article. All right, an interview with the CEO with the IBC would really bring this article together. I do always wonder through all of these Trolls games that I've played, if people do actually appreciate me going on these big dialogue walkarounds now. Is that a good thing? But people be more succinct for the action. After all, the trend I notice is that people want to see story. The main. Across all JRPGs and all games. It's been about 10 years since I was first assigned to work for the IBC's security department. Around the time this building was finished, I think. Yeah, that was a pretty busy year for me. I had just taken on a new post. I need to be re reassigned to the IBC's main building. Oh yeah, there was a mayoral election that year too, wasn't there? Those only come around once every five years. Man, that was a hectic and stressful year for my little rookie self. But yeah, you do get little tidbits of story. Like, we wouldn't have known about the uh, the notes that were ripped up, would we? Before we found the cat. Crossbell has managed to remain prosperous throughout its entire history by engaging in trade and exchanging septium. However, the older methods are no longer valid with the rise of mobile technology. The age of financial investments has begun. Don't waste my time with any small deals. Yep, oh, same thing. I, I see. It requires more research, I take it. Even though it's theoretically possible, its operational capacity can keep up. It still suffers from limitations, despite using the Epstein Foundation's most top-of-the-line equipment. It's disgusting. Something far beyond my comprehension. To be fair, the Chief is the most knowledgeable specialist in all of Crosbell. It would be more surprising if you were able to follow along. Yep. Could evolve, though, eh? I like to boast about how this building is the safest place on the entire continent. Modern buildings require modern security, and we don't hold back. Our security system utilizes the latest in all engineering advances. Not to mention our security department is full of trained professionals. It doesn't matter if you're the greatest criminal in the world. This establishment is impenetrable. So, how long to uh, a thief comes by? You know what I mean? Now that statement has been straight up said. I'm thinking of buying a rather expensive gift for my grandchild's birthday. One, two, three. Yep, I've got the full amount. Click clackety clack. Hello, my dear customers. Are you here to open an account? You can use your IBC accounts to withdraw Mira at any of our branches across the continent. They also work at any of our partnered banks. Pretty convenient, huh? So what do you say? Should we get one started? That's the red flag you hear so much about here. <laughs> there have been apparently been monsters popping up all over the place. Our department managed to receive some of the reports on it. I heard that an intern at St. Ursula was attacked. That's some scary stuff, man. I feel for them. Our reception desk can provide you with any information you need about the operations taking place here. Our building is actually home to 20 different companies. Please refer to this desk if any of them are expecting you. Alright then. That leaves the rest of the harbour district. <laughs> Bank employees, so secure, <laughs> yeah. Thieves, really? Did you say that now? Hey, look! Oh, there's all sorts of fun to be had over in Michelin. Yeah, I can hardly wait. I thought this dock was looking pretty empty. Wow, this boat is huge! I've never been on a boat before. I'm taking my daughter to Michelin. It'll be our first time riding on one of these cruise ships, so we're pretty excited. To all passengers traveling to Michelin, the ship will depart in five minutes. We thank you for your patience. This is the ship that takes you to Michelin. I knew the resort was popular. It's clearly even more extravagant than I expected. Oh yeah, extravagance is what Michelin's all about. It's got a theme park, rich shops, and all kinds of other fun spots to check out. Wait, you're telling me you've never been, Lloyd? Nope, can't say I have. They built the place while I was living abroad. We'll have to introduce you to it sometime. But for now, we ought to get back to work. Missed the last ship because I was too busy eating my lunch. But it looks like the next one's coming way sooner than I thought. Maybe I didn't really need to hurry after all. Now, the question is, these barrels are still in the way, right? Oh no, I can fish from here. A fishing spot right in the city? Don't mind if I do. Let's put a dumpling in first. Ah, 
I doubt I'll manage to yoink out eight different type of fish here. Was kind of expecting it to be, yeah. Uh, the dumplings just get out your lobies. The demon fish. That easy too. My greatest nemesis indeed. I hate that fish. And so does Estelle. <laughs> Boo. I don't know if that's all the fish, but I'll take that plus one. That oh, was that damn cruise ship, is it? Last thing is getting right in the way of my fishing. Why I order? Why I order? I'm catching you up. Well, wait, Celine's here too. I guess none of us can take things easy with casting announcements being made th next week. Oh man, only one more week until the announcement. The stress is killing me. Judge my noodles not by the stall they're served from, but by their quality. I wake up at the crack of dawn to prepare the noodles and let them rest. Once they're ready, I bring them here and boil them. Try as they might, no other stall will ever come close to the ones I've got right here. As long as you don't use rainwater from a roof, then I'm fine with it. What's with the people exercising the park these days? Probably just a trendy thing to do. Maybe I should give it a try. I have no way of catching him up, do I? No. And stop. You come to me. Come on. Mr. Lunny Man. Oh, where's this company supposed to be? I've never delivered anything to them before. The dresses for these newly constructed buildings make absolutely no sense. What one is it? Maybe we can help. It's kind of my whole deal, you know? So Nikolai's been doing his running here. Well, I'm not going to let him get an edge over me. Especially not after Lishia has already... Ah. Well, that is Crossbell. Done once more. Took a bit. Always will. Oh, and I'm not even allowed to go back. So I can't go back to where we come from to check out if our Morica village has changed. My sadness knows no end. Okay, then. I can only now go forth. Go forward. And go onwards. So the south exit. Uh, you mean... That wasn't the... Oh, Station Street. Okay. I think we're done. I'll save just in case. Because I might do another, like, sweepy patrol thing. Just to make sure I haven't missed anyone. In between sessions. I don't want to miss things. Sometimes double checking can help. But hey, this is Crossbell City South Exit. City tour. I guess we didn't report though, did we? Do we get a reward for a lost cat? I need to report. Yep. I get 5 DP for it. Oh, I got promoted. Spirit badge accessory is a reward for our performance. Not bad. That was worth. Our overall equipment here. Spirit badge. Defense 15 prevents fate. Extols a detective's achievements full of fighting spirit. Let's give that to you then, sir. Oh, ideally, that sounds better to put on you, doesn't it? I mean, it is the police badge that we got and all. There we go. Worth. Brown. Okay. Take us out on the road once again. Where are we going? I, it said I was to check the bus, right? I'm taking a flight out of Cosmo Airport, so I rode the train out here. Wait, this zone hasn't been accessible the whole time and I haven't been checking out, right? Between trains, buses, and airships, Cosmo has just about every mode of transportation. Must be convenient. 
Can I go to the airport? We don't have any business at the airport. Okay. Since we're here, let's take the bus. There's a schedule of the bus stop. We can check to see what the next bus will come. Aha! Looks like we'll be swept up into things if we take the bus. Oops, I pressed it. Looks like the next bus is scheduled to leave in 10 minutes. Oh good, we won't have to wait too long then. It's been a while since I last visited St. Ursula. Same here. I actually intended to visit sooner, but we've just been so busy. You did? Why? Are you feeling under the weather? No, I have a friend who works there. Someone who's always been there for me. We've been meaning to see each other since I got back. But we were both so busy with work, we kept putting it off. Well, I'm glad you'll have the chance to see each other now. Your friend's working at the hospital. Does that make him a doctor or something? A nurse, actually. Apparently, she's in charge of the younger staff, so she's always completely, extremely busy. Excuse me. Did you just say a nurse? As in one of those sweet girls who pampers you and she takes your temperature. With those tight little uniforms and everything. What? Uh, they do have to wear uniforms, sure, but... So, how old is she, huh? Well, she's five years older than me, so that'd make her 23 now. We were next-door neighbors for a long time, so she's basically like a sister to me. She a looker. Uh, uh, well, sure, I suppose. So to recap, she's two years older than me. She's hot. And she's pretty much always wearing a nurse's uniform. It's time to look alive, Randy Orlando. You were born for this very moment. Man, what did I do to deserve this happiness? You're the best thing that's ever happened to me, buddy old pal. Looking forward to the glowing introduction, wingman. Uh, no. Uh, why are you guys always like this? Hey, whoa, don't let me in with him. Is something the matter to you? You seem like you've been lost in thought for a while now. Oh, it's nothing. I am simply not especially fond of hospitals. The smell of antiseptic and the sight of needles in particular. I see. Do you think you'll be okay? If you want to stay behind... There are no issues. It is merely a dislike. It is not as if I have a phobia of hospitals. For your sake, I hope you were not about to give me permission to sit out. Y yeah, of course not. That was a close one. I'll need to watch what I say around her. Besides, I would also like to meet your friend Lloyd. I assume she was the one you were so happily speaking with on the phone. Uh, how'd you know about that? The two of you must really be close if you think of her as your sister. I'm really looking forward to meeting her now. For real? As far as I'm concerned, she's the main event waiting for us there. Y you guys, don't forget about the investigation. Detective Lloyd, come on. Told you how well she can hear. Bus still isn't here. It has already been 30 minutes. What's the deal, Lloyd? Didn't you say it was coming in 10 minutes? Don't look at me. This is strange, though. The bus shouldn't be this late. Oh, I was afraid of this happening. What are we going to do? Why is it 20 minutes late? I tried contacting them, but they wouldn't even pick up the stupid phone. Um, excuse me, is something wrong with the bus? It's rare for the bus line to fall this far behind schedule. Yeah, they've apparently run into some trouble on the road. Got a call from the driver about it. But before he could tell me what was going on, the line cut out and I couldn't get back in contact. Could that mean... I sense trouble. By the way, who are you working for? Oh, me, I'm with the Crossbell City Transportation Division. We oversee the entirety of the bus service across the state. Uh, this probably isn't something to contact the CGF about, so I guess we'll have to rely on the Bracer Guild again. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? Yes, I think so. Uh, whatever option do we have? Fate comes knocking again, eh? Excuse me, would you mind letting us take care of this? Huh? Why? Who are you guys? Crossbell Police Department Special Support Section. We were actually on our way to the hospital as part of an investigation. Really? You guys are police officers? Oh, I'm pretty sure I've read about you guys in some magazine. Something about the CPD starting a civil service branch that's basically like the guild? Well, we're not exactly the same as the guild. But we could definitely go and assess the situation for you. Well, okay. I don't see any harm in it. I'll leave it to you guys then. Should I call in some braces for backup? Uh, no, I don't think that'd be necessary. Let's go, everyone. Right. Let's get moving. Understood. No buses for anyone. Don't be stupid. 
Did I miss the bus? I hope not, because I'm running a little late. I was going to see a sick friend of mine, but I don't think that's happening anymore. Why is the bus so late? My poor grandson's been hospitalized for a while now. I'm sure I must get lonely wasting away in a hospital like that. Ugh, how long are you planning on making this wait? This thing is way late already, and it feels like I'm already starting to catch a cold. We were just about to go get a checkup at the hospital. Why is the bus so late? I wonder if he says anything about it. Nope. Okay. Time to get walkies then. The driver reported that the bus was no longer functioning. I wouldn't mind having you guys check up on it if you were already heading out there. Anyway, thanks again. I appreciate it. Well, down the earth of the road we go and... What the hell? There seems to be a lack of... Chess on this road. Alright, move things around. And it doesn't work that way. Oh, yeah! I forgot something, didn't I? I can upgrade a weapon. I can indeed. A snail with a very flexible shell that ricochets around in enemy groups. Wind is its weakness, but... Has importantly been beaten the absolute... It's not out of like we did, is truly its weakness. I will scan a different one for the other one. I will... Oh, they must be quite high level again. Because I'm getting experience. Most importantly, earthworms, to be honest. Well, yes. Not every place has treasure chests. That's probably true. But there's still things to find and get all over the place, isn't there? Uh, I think I'll just uh, rush these guys. Seeming the options upon Tio. That'll sort things out. Give me the goods. Still stuff to check out. Win Sepif times 10. There's a total of eight enemy groups on this map area. It surprised me if there was fishing out here too, you know? Are you a new one? You are, Ocean Drome. I think we can beat it anyway, so we'll craft this one. I didn't even read it! But I can read it here. Small mollusk monster that uses water art said to follow streams inland from the ocean. Beat them down fast. That's what we do. We're about to get all the level ups in the world. Uh, no sparklies. There's some ruins. There's something flying in the sky up on high. If they live, they live. Which they did. They did. A monkey with large ears never misses a sound. The long-eared monkey. That's half of our enemies on this route taken out. Ow. 
And Ellie overtook in the leveling stakes? What? Oh no, everyone's doing it. <laughs> Ellie somehow did get more experience, and so did Randy too. When that happened, what? Explain. I haven't got a new craft or anything. Beautiful day in fishing. Talk about a match made in heaven. It's a fishing spot here. Yeah? Leave that for now. I'm gonna check out the rest of the route first. Well, you know, just here. For any goodies that it may contain. Oh, or new enemies. <laughs> okay. I got a successful ambush. Well, I'll just get ambushed by the next group. This isn't gonna go well, is it? We do not have enough power to take them out in one go. This is a Rakom. And this small monster is electrically charged and deceptively dangerous. Weak to fire too. <laughs> I can escape. Can't catch me. I shoot you in face. Is that like I am ready? What's that she have to? Get him, Randy. You've got to carve through these people to find your older lady. Think of this as the workout towards your reward. Think sparkling here by the look of it. Oh, there's a new enemy. Maybe it'll live. Well, I wasn't expecting him to straight up die like that. No, uh, scan for me there. Red flies were obtained. I love the double shot we can do, but that's a lot of dudes this time. This is a pretty big pack. I think it's worryingly big, actually. So we're hit with our crits. Almost want to beam Zamba, but there's not actually any range that we can get into there. Kesselan, a leech type monster that swims through the air, can summon its companions. So, what you're telling me is there's going to be more of them. That does not fill me with joy. I think power smash on that guy should hit two, right? Oh, I missed one? I'm just trying to get as much damage as I can get in quickish. Let's see if I can take out a fair few of these. It's kind of working. Maybe our enemies are too far away now. Not nice. Yeah, ideally, we want to take down the lower HP ones first. My poor CP. Oh, no. Oh, we're taking out the ones that can summon, so that's a 
certain amount of enemies got rid of. Ooh, well, this will get us some of our CP back. Maybe I should be using you as a battery now. Life is good. And there was no more sparkly down here. I guess maybe I moved through areas too fast to see if there's a sparkly on the floor or not. Wouldn't surprise me. I see nothing. Oh, now I do. What the hell? Wait, did I just... Oh, now I'm just well confused. Is there a sparkly there or not? Oh, I'm imagining stuff. Alright, red flies in you. We can't attach them to the novice rod, however. I think it's time for our uh, bedtime story. Got a cup, cup. Yeah, I think it's just showing where the water's rippling. Yeah. We can use the cup as bait too. But not with this rod. But we've had a good long session this week. No crab was obtained. Mirage step it. I managed to get on our, well, two, two patrols in, plus checked out a place elsewhere, outside, and more. Got a lot of battle in, and we're about to get a lot more battle in as we go to find out what is wrong with the bus. <laughs> cup, cup. So with this beautiful view, we will leave you for this episode, but of course, we will leave you with that story that was promised a while ago. I wonder how many pages it will be. The Back Alley Dr. Glenn, Chapter 2. Eight pages. Chapter 2. The Request. Is there a doctor by the name of Glenn here? The nurse asked with a smooth, dignified tone as she stood there in the entryway of the clinic. She had a youthful beauty to her. Glenn guessed that she must have been in her early 20s. Yeah, that would be me. Glenn motioned for her to come in. She bowed, folded her umbrella, and closed the door behind her. The umbrella clearly hadn't served her well in the windy downpour outside. Raindrops trickled from her bangs, tick running down her cheeks onto the fabric of uniform, the front of which was completely sodden. Glenn carelessly threw the mirror case in a corner, grabbed a clean white towel from a nearby shelf, and tossed it to the nurse. She thanked him and quickly dried her wet hair. As Glenn watched her, he noticed that her movements had a certain charm to them. Getting a better look at her face, he found himself utterly captivated for a moment. So much so that he nearly blurted out something along the lines of, Have we met before? He stopped himself in time, however, not wanting to utter such a painfully cliched pickup line. He cleared his throat in order to regain his composure and then offered her a seat. So what do you want from me? He asked. My name is Sherry. I work as a nurse at Amelia General Hospital. A boy of an incurable disease was hospitalized just today. I request that you operate on him. Silence filled the clinic. Surprised by the lack of a response, Sherry tilted her head inquisitively. A moment later, the response came. It started as a stifled chuckle, but quickly exploded into great booming laughter. Glenn knew about Amelia. It was one of the biggest hospitals in the Principality. Personally backed by the head of state, the Prince, was a facility said to have brought together the best doctors from far and wide and one that sported the latest medical technology and the most cutting-edge techniques. It was also a hospital that was protective of its image. Patients deemed incurable were outsourced so as to not reflect poorly on the hospital's track record. For a back alley doctor like Glenn, whose business relied heavily on confidentiality, this wasn't an unusual request. The thought of the high and mighty hospital administrators having to resort to asking a displaced doctor like himself for help was always a great source of amusement to him. However, well, did the distinguished gentleman in that ivory tower of a hospital mention how much is in it for me? Glenn's jovial mood subsided and he instantly switched to a business-like demeanor. 
If he was going to be doing their dirty work, he planned to make sure the compensation was thorough. Sherry sternly stared back before responding, her voice firm with determination. There appears to be a misunderstanding. I'm not making this request on behalf of the hospital. This is my own personal request. Wait, what? Glenn was taken off his guard by the sudden admission. Averting her eyes, Sherry continued. The boy, my patient, suffers from crystallization. Crystallization. Glenn's eyes widened at the name. He knew it well. Further, he now understood exactly why she had come to him. The disease had great significance to Glenn, as it was no... Not an exaggeration to say, it was the sole reason he became a back alley doctor in the first place. Take me to the patient. I'll decide what I'll do after a medical examination. He said without hesitation. Sherry nodded in agreement. So ends week two of our crossbell journey. Trails from Zero continues on next week. Further along the St. Ursula's Road to check out the next sign of Wolf Attack. We'll find out what's there next time. I'll see you guys then for more. Bye bye.